Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Bella in Your Business. My name is Bella Vasta, your host. And as we are actually coming to a conclusion of the theme we've been talking about, which is sales, uh, I got something in my inbox just yesterday that inspired this podcast. I thought, all right, let's go. Let's do it. And uh, the question was, what's important to have on my website these days? This person was uh, about to redo their website. Of course, I sent them on over to my girl, Erica. If you go to jumpconsulting.net forward slash marketing, uh, you will find um, this amazing designer who helps so many pet sitting and dog walking clients of mine. Uh, and she's been doing it for years. Um, I'm going to say since 2017, maybe. Um, she's fantastic. She'll take really great care of you, but it got me thinking and it got me thinking about your website. I, as you know, see a lot of websites all around the world, uh, with all of the people that I talk to. I always try to cyber stalk you guys a little bit before we get on the phone, uh, see what you're up to, see what you're about. And I am more times than not disappointed that your website looks like everybody else's. So today we're going to dive into it because you, of course, are not like everybody else. Because if I talk to you, you tell me that you're the best. You tell me that you're perfect and that you're, well, maybe not perfect, but that you go above and beyond and that you love them just like they are yours. And you provide the best service and you really care about your clients and you're really professional, but yet your website does not rely any of this. Boom, 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 boom. So today we're going to talk about that. I'm going to break it down into seven things for you, seven important things. Uh, I'm going to make it pretty quick and easy. I know you guys like my listicles, so here we go without further ado. But before we talk about this, uh, let me first say to you, I'm going to be really blunt here. Don't do your own website unless you are a web designer. That means like, you know, like as if you're a house designer and you know how to design a house um, or you're a, a home builder you know how to build a website. Uh, and no, I'm not talking about GoDaddy or Wix because uh, uh, mm -mm, no, 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 no. That's not what a professional does. Do you think professional companies go out there and say, Hey, I'm going to use a Wix website? No, you need a real professional website and marketing is going to do that for you. So again, just go on over to jumpconsulting.net forward slash marketing, and it will take you straight there. Um, but on this episode, I want you to get a professional website. And when you do that, I don't want you to contact Erica until you've got your ducks in a row, until you've got your head wrapped around this, because there's a lot of elements that go into launching your website that is going to essentially make it or break it for you. Someone's going to go to your website and they're either going to fall madly, deeply in love with you and fall over themselves trying to sign up with you, or they're going to bounce in the first couple of minutes or seconds not minutes, seconds, because they're going to think that you're cheap, that you don't have any money, that you don't know what you're doing, that you tried to do it yourself, that they're frustrated and they don't know where to go, or they're not getting their information or they don't feel like you understand them. Okay. That's exactly what's going to happen. And I, I, if you're a jumper and you're a jumper, cause you're listening to this, I'm going to make sure this doesn't happen to you. All right. So let's just start from the very first part. The 